Hey YouTubers, it's that band guy again with another Johnny Lightning casting spotlight. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the 1976 through 1977 Chevy G20 van. Uh, we won't be going over any of the boogie vans because I've already done a video on those. Uh, check out my other videos on my channel and you can find the boogie vans video. And that spans every single boogie van ever released uh, until earlier uh, 2018. So check that one out. Uh, these are all going to be Chevy vans that are not in the Boogie Van series. Uh, originally in the Boogie Van series, just for some information, there are a total of six Chevy vans released in the original Boogie Van series, released in the early 2000s. There was three different releases, two Chevy vans in each release. Uh, just recently, in 2018, they brought the Boogie Vans back in this part of the Street Freak series. So there are two new uh, Chevy vans that were released in 2018, but those are all in my boogie vans video. So check that out uh, The one on the turntable here is our first one We're going to check out and this is the James Bond 40th anniversary release one in yellow This is uh, The first one we're going to check out today Pretty cool. Uh, I'm not exactly sure which movie it was in uh, but I believe it was uh, a van from one of the movies. Uh, next up, we have this uh, Coca-Cola Delivery Vehicles Release 5 Chevy van. And this one's got some uh, hubcaps. Most of them have side pipes on them. Not all of them do, but a lot of them do. And a lot of them have uh, realistic wheels. Some of them have rubber wheels. Some of them have plastic wheels. This one uh, looks like it's got rubber wheels. And most of these are going to be uh, metal body, metal base. Some are plastic tires. Some are rubber tires. It just it kind of varies. All right. Next up, we got a Spider-Man here. This is uh, Spider-Man Toys R Us exclusive from 2004. Chevy van. Uh, this one is the, I got lucky, I didn't realize there was a wheel variation. Uh, there's a real wheel variation, uh, what Johnny Lightning calls um, the equivalent of like a Hot Wheels real rider. Hot Wheels brand, what they used, uh, the name that they call their rubber tire versions are real riders. Johnny Lightning has a version as well, but they call them real wheels. So I just got lucky and I didn't realize there was a wheel variation, but I prefer the rubber tires. It just looks more realistic. So this is a real wheel version. You can see the tread on the tire there. It's a rubber tire. There is also a variation of this exact same van in the plastic wheels. So if you're into downhill racing, the plastic wheel version uh, would probably be faster for downhill racing. Uh, next up, we got the Coca-Cola Polar Bear, released in 2004, uh, Chevy van in white. It's got the Coca-Cola graphics. Johnny Lightning has quite a few of these uh, different Coke vans. There's regular Coke release, international Coke release, and we'll go through some of those uh, in this video. But they also have them available in uh, uh, Ford vans and Dodge vans. So if you're a Coke collector, a lot of... Uh, vehicles to collect this one looks like it's in slightly played with condition most of mine are i try to uh only collect like mint if possible this one's plastic tires you can see the the difference it's just got the little ridge on the inside plastic wheels all right next up we got this uh this is the sun uh, the saturday evening post version in white Pretty neat one, but it, uh, it kind of reminds me of one of the Coke vans. Like it's kind of it's very similar. So if you just kind of glance at it, you're like, not sure if this is the Coke van or if this is the. You can see this one has the the real wheels on it, metal body, metal base. Next up, we have another one of those Coke vans. And this is from the Coca-Cola Billboard series. This actually, if you're into dioramas, this is a really cool release. It, it came as a two-pack. 
and it has like a Coca-Cola billboard uh, included in the packaging. So if you have like a 164 scale diorama and you wanted like a billboard, like an advertising, um, I believe it has two different, has a slider built into it and you can slide it back and forth and it has two different uh, Coca-Cola billboard designs. So you can kind of choose which one you want to display. But it's kind of cool that this one uh, comes with a billboard. So that's like an extra thing. And I believe it was some sort of an older panel van was the other vehicle in it that came with it. Uh, next up, this is one of my favorites. And this is a kind of a harder one to find. I, I struggled with this one for a little while. Uh, I was searching eBay probably once or twice a week for about a year and just searched doing internet searches and I could not find this one anywhere. And one finally popped up on eBay. Um, so obviously it goes for a little bit more money. I still got a pretty good deal, but, uh, you know, you're going to have to pay more if you want one of these. This is from the Rock Art Release 2, this Led Zeppelin van in black. And this is probably one of the coolest ones. And also one of the more hard to find ones. It has a couple of, uh, logos in the roof. Uh from the album plastic wheels metal body metal base now we have um a promo piece this is um uh from the 2015 york fair promo piece uh, only 4000 produced you can find these on ebay special promo piece that was only sold at the york fair Found it on eBay, and I thought it looked pretty cool, so I grabbed one for myself to add to the collection. Next up we have a 2018 release. This is uh, from the Johnny Lightning Off-Road Limited Edition 2-Car Set. Uh, th these, uh, you might have seen them on the pegs. They are coming as two packs. It's a cardboard card with a blister on it, and it's got two different cars uh, in the blister or on the in the packaging. There's a Jeep, and then there's uh, this van. I think it was a Jeep Cherokee. So this is the Johnny Lightning uh, limited edition off-road two-car set that just was released in 2018. And then I was lucky. I, I uh. I had a friend in our local club that is a Jeep guy, and I didn't really need the Jeep, so we split. I uh, pre-ordered it, and uh, we split it 50-50, and he uh, took the Jeep, and I took the van. And then I was lucky enough, one of the guys in our local club found this White Lightning version. And he knows I'm a van guy, so he gave me a first shot at it, and we worked out uh, a deal. So... I'm not huge on the white lightnings. I don't need to own a lot of white lightnings, especially if it's just like white interior, white wheels. I find it kind of boring. But what I really like about this one is it's kind of like a totally different paint scheme or like a reversed paint scheme. The white wheels or white tires are a little weird. Uh, not a fan of the white tight rubber tires, but I just liked it because it's so different from the original paint scheme and then this last one and can't even really remember where i got this one it might have been um in some sort of a trade box or a roke uh, probably given to me by uh one of the guys in our local facebook based group because they know i'm a van guy uh this one looks like i wasn't sure at first because i never really took you know looked at it that closely but i believe this is a custom um, you know, it was kind of, it was definitely something that was picked up at a thrift store or Goodwill or something like that. Um, and it's in played with condition. It's pretty banged up. So because it was banged up, I couldn't really tell that it was a custom, but if you look at it, um, like the deco, uh, or transfer on the hood is actually backwards. I doubt it would come like that from the factory. So uh kind of cool somebody did a pretty good job with this uh 
custom, you know, like if it wasn't obvious to me that it, maybe if it was in mint condition, I would have been able to tell, but, uh, you know, because it was already banged up and the, some of the paint was worn off or scratched, it was hard for me to tell it wasn't, uh, an original release. And then if you look at the light bar on top, you can kind of tell it's just like somebody added that and it's almost like just a dowel. It's not like a clear painted light. So I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Should I, uh, should I strip this down and have one of my friends, uh, do a uh, custom on it and redo it? Or should I leave it as is and just keep it as is? Uh, it's not a, not a too bad of a job on a, this custom, I think. Um, it is a little bit banged up. The only thing I didn't like is, is how it says ambulance on the hood, but it's backwards. So that's a little weird, but the rest of it's not too bad. Metal body, metal base, plastic wheels. So I'm kind of curious as to like which van they, uh, you know, what this van looked like originally before they uh, customized it. Like which van in the series this one was. So let me know in the comments, guys. What do you think? Should I keep it as is or should I strip it down and redo it? That's pretty much it. Uh, that's every single Johnny Lightning 1976 through 1977 Chevy G20 van ever released by Johnny Lightning, excluding the boogie vans. And there's also obviously some white lightnings out there that I don't uh, have. And there might be one or two wheel variations that I don't have. But pretty much for the uh, deco or paint scheme this is every single one ever released by johnny lightning so and i can add these to my display case and uh show them off and enjoy them all right guys thanks for watching i appreciate it if you've enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and check out my facebook page that van guy thanks guys for watching you have a great day